Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's video of On Sundays We Stamp, we are doing cool toned crystal nails. These take a while, so just bear with me. I'm starting off by putting clear nail polish on my nail art mat. This is the Wet n Wild Clear Nail Polish. I buy it at Walmart for 99 cents. I love this nail polish for this type of thing because it retains its elasticity after it dries. It doesn't get brittle, which is good. So after letting that dry for about 10 minutes, I'm going to pick up this stamp here, which is a sort of crystal design. And I'm going to pick it up with Mirror Mirror and Spiced Orange by Maniology. I'm gonna go ahead and just dab it on in different places to kind of randomize the copper and black shimmer together. After having let that polish dry for 10 minutes, it still has a little bit of stick to it, which is perfect for letting down the stamp design. Now I'm taking I Want It That Way, which was part of ColourPop's short-lived venture into nail polish, and I'm going to sort of trim the design in it. And here are the colors I'm using for the crystal. I'm using Micro Peach by uh, Born Pretty. It's a thermal color, so it goes from a purple to a blue, which is super great, I love it. And I'm mixing it with Mozart and Flanier by Live Love Polish. I wanted to kind of get the depth and the tones of crystals, mostly amethyst, obviously, since these are purple. So after I fill in the design, I let it dry for 20 minutes. Now I am taking Coconut Milk by Kale Polish, and I'm going to use this on my nails as the entire base, except for my ring finger, which I am putting on Flanier. I don't like coconut milk on its own because I feel like it's patchy. I don't feel like it's smooth enough. But when I'm doing designs over it, I don't mind it so much. I'm doing two coats and I'm letting them dry for 15 minutes. After I do that, I'm putting just a nice thin coat of the Wet n Wild Clear Polish to make it sticky for the application of the decal. And I'm going to let that dry for about five minutes. While that's drying, I'm taking this Crystal Sand Top Coat by Born Pretty. It has a sandy sort of texture and it has micro silver glitters in it. I wanted it to be a little more sandy. It's too bad that it wasn't, but it does have a bit of a texture to it. I'm painting my entire pinky in that. And I like the gritty texture because, you know, with crystals you see that sort of gritty stone part. Now that this finger is dry, I am picking up the decal and I'm now laying it down over half, or a little bit over half of the nail. And I'm taking a clean, dry makeup sponge and I'm using it to sort of press the decal down into the crevices. And this way I can get around all of the bits that need to get cut off. This process sort of takes a while for me, so I'm just shortening it. After you're done taking off the excess of the decal, just take a cleanup brush wet with acetone and sort of melt the edges around onto your nail. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on a clear top coat on my ring finger and I'm only going to apply this top coat onto the crystal portion of my nails. Oh, and I'm also putting on a teeny little little stud thingy. I have a ton of these and I never use them so whenever I think, oh this nail is a little bit bare and should have something, studs are the way to go. So immediately after putting on that part of top coat on the crystal part, I'm taking the same crystal sand top coat and I'm filling in the coconut milk portion of it. 
and I'm kind of dragging it into the still wet clear top coat so that they kind of form a, a line like they're mixed together. And here's what it looks like when it dries. And also I'm using my blow dryer right now so you guys can see the color change from a purple to a blue from the Micro Peach by Born Pretty. I really love this effect. I think it's really cool, especially because crystals tend to change color in the light and stuff. So here is the final result. I am so extremely in love with these nails. I, I'm so excited about them. I can't believe I waited this long to do something like this. I think they are amazing. They take a little bit longer than I would have liked to do, but totally worth it in the end. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.